who's over there. But you better get. Because I ain't the one, sucker. Greenwood Grove was always a quiet and peaceful neighborhood, the kind of place where everyone knew each other's names and we looked out for each other. It was the perfect place to grow up. My friends and I started a dog sitting business called Paws and Claws. We took care of all kinds of pets, from dogs to cats to birds. I was the designated dog walker. Olivia washed the pets and gave them the spa treatment. Amelia and Emma designed the cutest dog fashion in town, and Jasmine, well, she handled the expenses of the club. Together, we were raising some extra money for summer camp. But now things have changed. Our neighbors have gone missing, and strange things have been happening. You were late, which means you owe a fine. Sorry, my mom's aerobics class ran late. But I brought muffins. Doesn't that count for anything? Thanks, but you still have to pay. Club rules. All right, so let's get started. Olivia, how did it go with the dog washing? It went great. I earned an extra $30 for summer camp. As treasure, I'll gladly take that. Awesome. Olivia, keep up the good work. We just finished designing these amazing dog scarves. That goes so well with these gnarly leg warmers. And we've already sold three to our lovely customers down the street. Hello, this is Michelle Thompson from Paws and Claws Dog Sitting. How may I help you? You don't say! Well, we'd be happy to help Mrs. Johnson. When should we pick up Buddy? Okay, that sounds great. We'll see you tomorrow then. Bye, Mrs. Johnson. Okay, so who's up for the job? Oh, that dog is completely insane. He just has a little bit of separation anxiety, that's all, and it might do him some good to get away from Mrs. Johnson. A little separation anxiety? You've got to be kidding me. That dog needs a little more than a few weeks away from Mrs. Johnson. He needs- Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. You give up your Saturday with Bobby McAndrew? <laughs> Ooh, Bobby Michelle, sit in energy. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Oh no, I just have a feeling this might be an important job and who knows? Maybe Buddy won't be so bad after all. Well, we're charging her an extra 50 bucks for this job. Ah, <sighs> wish me luck, guys. One, two, three, pausing class! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by the way, I'm really sorry I have to cancel our date for this Saturday. My neighbor really needs me to dog sit her dog buddy. Yeah, I know, I know, me too. I was really looking forward to it, but my neighbor, 
She's really in a bind and needs my help. Thanks, Bobby. I really appreciate your understanding. Okay, how about I make it up to you? Do you want to maybe go grab a pizza next week? Okay, yeah, that sounds great. I'll see you then. You're the best, Bobby. Bye. Another dog missing. Business is looking bad. in the woods behind my house. Something terrible must have happened to him. I knew we should have never agreed to watch Mrs. Johnson's dog in the first place. They've been trouble ever since they moved here. We need to find him. We'll search every inch of these woods until we find him. I don't know. Maybe Justin's right. That dog crosses the entire neighborhood. What are you saying? With or without you, I'm going to find Buddy. Yeah, so let's all grab some more search gear and meet back at Michelle's in 10 minutes. I could still call my uncle and get a replacement, I'll get out. Somebody's in my house. Buddy? Buddy? Is that you? gets ready to paint the town, there's only one brand we turn to, Petite and Pretty. Their makeup collection is a game changer, giving us that touch of glamour that makes us stand out in the crowd. 